Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. My students rather watch a lesson on English vocabulary. Hmm, I'd better write a lesson about the difference between but rather and had better. Yes, in this lesson we're going to look at the differences between would rather and had better. So stay tuned. That's right, would rather and had better. Okay, this seems a little bit complicated, but when I explain to you, you'll understand, I'm sure. So let's take a look at would rather. Okay, it, it equals to I prefer, that's all, would rather. And it is used for conditional mood. Okay, I will get to that in just one second. Then, um, when we pronounce it or when we speak to someone, we, we wouldn't say I would rather do, do something or... We, we just said I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather or I rather, which is more slang. It is usually followed by a base of the verb without to. Then, it is used to refer to a preference, like I said before, I prefer doing something, right? So, like my example, my students would rather watch a lesson on English vocabulary. Or I can say, my students rather watch a lesson on English vocabulary. So, they prefer to watch a lesson on English vocabulary. That's all. So, you can replace it with would sooner. This is another form. So, I could say, I'd sooner walk than drive. So, I don't like uh, driving in Rome, there is too much traffic. And I say, I'd sooner walk than drive. Which is the same as saying, I'd rather walk than drive. Now, there are three possible uh, constructions of, because we have positive, negative, and interrogative, but also there are other ways to use this, um, this form. Let's take a look at them, and you will see under this video, you will see the, the examples, because here it's impossible to read. I, I can read it myself only. So, for a positive sentence, you need the subject, then would rather, then the base of the verb, and then the object. An example would be, I'd rather read a book than watch a movie. The other possible uh, positive sentence would be, subject plus would rather plus object plus a past verb form. So, I can give you an example. I'd rather you called me when you get home. I'd rather you called me when you get home. Okay, so let's take a look at the negative sentence. We need the subject, then we need would rather, then not, then the base of the verb, and then the object. So, the example that I wrote here is, he'd rather not read a book. He'd rather not read a book. Now, the negative would be for another type of uh, uh, construction. Subject plus would rather plus object in this case, plus the past form, the past verb form, and then the rest. I rather you didn't call me. I rather you didn't, which is the past um, uh, tense we said, so we need did, did not, call me. Okay, then we have for an interrogative um, sentence, we need would, then subject, then rather, and then the base of the verb without to, and then the rest. Would you rather learn Portuguese? Would you rather learn Portuguese? The other form, the other construction that we can use with would rather, the formula is would plus subject plus rather 
plus object plus the past verb form and then etc. Would you rather I taught you Portuguese? Would you rather I taught you Portuguese? Okay, we also can use the uh, would rather with the past. And if you want to say something that, um, that referred to the past, you would use the subject, then would rather, then have, then the past participle, and then the object. Let's take a look at the example. They rather have saved their money than spending on trivial things. They'd rather have saved their money than spending on trivial things. So this is for the past. Now, other forms that we use would rather with, you can add emphasis if you add much between these words. So, for example, I'd much rather learn Italian, in my case, than anything else. In your case would be, you would say, I'd much rather learn English than anything else. Okay, so much adds uh, emphasis and is stronger when you use much between would and rather. Now, let's take a look at had better instead. Had better means it's a good idea or it is advisable. And we use it in the present and in the past, not the future. We can, um, when we speak, we say I better, I'd better informally, or in slang, I better, without the D. It's followed by the base of the verb without to. That's why it gets confusing right here because it's the same as would rather, but the meaning changes. Use it instead of should or ought to. To say that something is the right thing to do. For example, I'd better call the police. There is a fight out in the streets. I'd better call the police. police. So it's the right thing for me to do, to call the police. I'd better call the police. Now, use it with I or we for an intention. With better, pay attention during this lesson. So it's an intention, it's something that I intend you to do. Um, you'd better or with better, pay attention during this lesson. The other usage is um, use it with you when giving advice or warning, just like I said before. You'd better take the freeway to avoid traffic. You'd better take the freeway to avoid traffic. So this is a suggestion, a warning that I'm giving you, right? You'd better take the freeway to avoid traffic. Now, for an, a negative sentence, the formula for have better is subject plus have better, plus not, right here, plus the base of the verb without to, plus the object. The example that I wrote, I'd better not go to the beach. It's going to rain soon. I'd better not go to the beach. It's going to rain soon. For an interrogative sentence, had, plus subject, plus better, plus the base of the verb, and then what is next. So, the example, had I better call the doctor if he feels worse? So I have a friend who, who is ill, and I ask another friend, had I better call the doctor if he feels worse? So, we have other forms for have better, and that, that is, it's better it's best to plus the base of the verb. And this is used for suggestions. Just like my example. 
It's better to travel in the winter if you want to visit Indonesia. So this is what a, a student of mine told me, right? It's better, it's better or it's best to travel in the winter if you want to visit Indonesia. Okay, that's it for today. I actually have explained the differences between would rather and had better. If you have questions, you might write or type your question under this video. If you uh, liked it, the lesson, please share it with your friends or with a classmate. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I suggest you do. Next week, you'll get a new lesson in your inbox. So, have a great day and see you next week with a new lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.